Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Following sold-out runs in Edinburgh and London, Simon McBurney brings his new show, The Encounter, to Broadway for 16 weeks only. And we drop by the Golden Theater to catch up with Simon and bring you a sneak peek. awakened as if by a silent clock and the forest surrounded him he lay for a couple of moments in his hammock listening to the music of the forest and then he dressed cooked himself some oatmeal slipped several rolls of film into his pocket and he walked up to the giant lapunas tree around its root system you know? a few yards into the forest somehow on the screen of his mind you're not alone buddy he had the sensation of presence. This was stunning this morning at this press event, what you gave to us. What was it like putting this whole show together? And you did in Edinburgh, in London. I mean, how audiences have reacted to this? Audiences have had the most extraordinary response. I didn't expect it. I thought maybe people would think it was interesting, but very much a kind of art project. But what has happened is because it is about a journey into your mind, people have experienced that. And that is, after all, the most private place that we have. We think that it is only ours, but the question is, is it? You know, And this, I, this question of what goes on inside our head, of course, concerns us, because for lots of reasons, you know, we go, well, uh, this thing that I'm experiencing and this light that's on, you know, that gets turned off when we die, you know, what's that about? And so on. And people want the to be, um, to have that experience in which they feel perhaps more themselves. I know it's a little bit confusing because that's your right ear, that's your left ear. Let me align it so it's a little clearer, the image. Okay. So I want you to get a sense of how it sort of records the space. I'm on your, just beside your left ear. Just close your eyes, everybody. Okay, it's okay, please do close them. It's okay, nothing bad is gonna happen. <laughs> okay, it's only a press thing. I'm just showing you how these things work, okay? Close your eyes completely, good. And now you can hear me just walking slightly behind you. You see, like that, I'm a little thirsty having started to talk. Keep your eyes closed, I'm just gonna have a little water for that, right? Mm. Sorry, that's a little bit too intimate. Brilliant sound designer you're working with. Talk about his work. Gareth Fry did the design, and it's wonderful, but it is something that we developed together. Um, I had a two Swedish artists called Lundel and Settel, remarkable artists. They use a binaural head, and I saw their work... 12 years ago, and I was very fascinated. I got to know them, and I, although I knew about the head, I started working with it. The difference between the way that I use it, perhaps, and other people use it, they just use it in recordings. I have the head on stage, so you've got a visual element. You both see and experience something almost in three dimensions, and that's what's curious. So that if, when you're sitting in the audience, you really are hearing something just behind you. And what Gareth Fry has done has to literally invent the hardware to be able to do it. So the sound operators at the back of the auditorium uh, have kit which is made only for them to be able to play almost like musicians. It's like having a, an orchestra in the pit, but a different kind of orchestra. What are you enjoying the most and what are you looking forward to the most with doing this on Broadway? I'm really excited to share it with an audience here in New York because it's a very special audience here. There's people who are very open and are really constantly interested in the new and 
what is happening in the world. It's an incredibly cosmopolitan audience. And the energy is just like nowhere else in the world. I get fantastic energy in London, it's my hometown, but it's not like the energy you get here. There's a greater generosity, there's a greater uh, uh, criticism too, but everything is a little bit more. And it's, there's a lot of artists here who I want to share this with. And I had the opportunity of doing it for a couple of weeks or for 16 weeks. And I thought, to hell with it. I'm going to let's go for 16 weeks. And that's really exciting. It's, it's a, a privilege. started to raise his camera. Now this was the instant when things could go either way towards friendliness or hostility. And he knew the Mayaruna had never been successfully acculturated at the turn of the century as the rubber boom brought more and more intrusion and conflict into Upper Amazonia. They simply slipped into a forest and disappeared and now they were reappearing. Undoubtedly carrying memories of bloodshed, brutality, maybe even torture. He looked at them, they looked at him. The moment was wonderful and unrepeatable. Great shot, my God. First contact, ideal first contact. They stood immobile looking at each other. And then they turned. Hey, hang on fellas. They were disappearing into the forest. What to do now? <laughs> 